environment 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 let's get environment the environment <coughs> something related to like nature maybe like rivers mountain beaches fish okay. it's our habitat wait I, i'll ask my mom what as far as I, I can say, environment is everything that surrounds me that related to the nature. Tiger, elephant, tree. I already know I meant. According to Environmental Protection Act, EPA 1997, ice, iceberg, polar bear. Environment means the interaction and the interrelationship among the components of natural, cultural, and social systems. It gets worse and worse. You. 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 Environment. 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 Let's get it. Environment. The environment. <coughs> Something related to like nature, maybe like rivers, mountain, beaches, fish. Okay. It's our habitat. Wait, I, I'll ask my mom. What? As far as I, I can say, environment is everything that surrounds me that related to the nature. Tiger, elephant, tree. I already know I meant. Bruh. According to Environmental Protection Act, EPA 1997, ice, iceberg, polar bear. Environment means the interaction and the interrelationship among and the components of natural, cultural, and social systems. It gets worse and worse.
you 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to start in a few minutes, so please find your seat and make yourself comfortable. But for your information, we are live on our Facebook account and also on our official YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow and subscribe our social media platform at Yellow Y E L O twenty twenty or at Youth English Language Olympiad for Facebook. Stay tuned. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. Welcome to Yellow Youth English Language Olympiad and Viral Talk 2020. How are you guys doing today? Well, I hope you guys are in a very good mood this evening since I, Saif Mazlan, will be your MC for today. On this wonderful day, we are going to explore on one interesting topic pertaining to the digital environment and youth. Well, I know you guys might also be wondering what is exactly lies behind the meaning of digital environment, right? Well, don't worry because today we will help to shed the light on your understanding by bringing one of the experts to talk about this topic. Without further ado, please welcome Dr. Suvinci. Hello, Dr. Suvinci. How are you today? 
Hi, I'm good. Um, I'm good. Actually, I'm in Spain now, so it's 7 a.m. here, and um, I've been very excited. Actually, I, 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 I didn't sleep a few days before to just adjust my time for this talk. And um, you know, when you guys approached me, um, I wanted to share something where I think it's a current issue. I mean, like it's a. Uh, it's also our, our new environment because, uh, as you know, MCO, RMCO, and a lot of things are happening nowadays and stuff. So, um, I prep kind of a, a kind of a topic where I guess is very important for the youth, especially um, this environment. Um, what do you call that platform and all the social media? It is kind of like it's not just the pollution from outside, but also uh, the pollution in the digital world. And especially as uh, actually, this is my area of research for my first PhD. So um, actually it is really, really kind of like, uh, as we know that it's, it's kind of a very interesting topic. That's why when you guys approached me, I was like, can we not just talk about Mother Earth and stuff? Can we talk about even, even more, I guess, more modern issues where that thing also affect loads of mental health issues or even of environment um i was just like uh, look at the news today there's so many news uh, in uh, 2021 um a lot of things are happening but 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 again that us like every one of the youth you guys are our future so you know like nowadays like everyone you know you guys are amazing and as well as you know in the turbulence time we need to acknowledge a lot of issues where um not just earth issue but also in this platform where um a very very important platform which is our digital world yeah well thank you Dr. Well, i believe also platform nowadays is being one of the social media is actually one of the main platform to you know to instill awareness among youth especially, right? So, yeah. mucho gracias, doctor. But before we begin, yeah. I would love to give some information about Dr. Suvinci to our audience today. Well, Dr. Suvinci is a singer, actress, composer, celebrity chef, host, model, beauty queen, and even a PhD holder and entrepreneur from Malaysia. For your information, Dr. Suvinci has made it into the Malaysia Book of Records for the third time this year. The first one is for being the, the first Miss World Malaysia to be awarded a PhD. The second one is for the most number of academic degrees obtained by a beauty queen, while the other one is for the most number of, ac of academic degrees obtained by a recording artist. Well, for me, this is definitely the definition of beauty with brain, right? Thank you I'm so much. I'm so proud to have someone like you in Malaysia, Doctor. So, Thank you. Let us not waste any more time. I will pass the floor to you to shed light more on digital environment and youth. Please welcome, sure. Doctor. Thank you so much. Uh, so, um, hi everyone. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, uh, I have my phone here as well, so I'm reading um, you guys' messages as well. So, actually, I prep. Um, I prep some slides for you all. So, I like to ask the host to share my slide for the audience. So. Um, as we know that, I know that everyone is talking about environment, uh, environmental issues and stuff, but I would like to highlight this digital uh, environment for youth because this had been tremendously affecting a lot of youth nowadays and I would like, like to bring out the issues and stuff so that um, everyone is alert and also we have to pay attention where this will affect not just the mental health, but also shape our future and also um, to shape a lot of unity among our youth. So um, may we start like, can we go to the next page? So as we know that like the earth, we have 7.8 billion of population now and it's still growing and um, everyone is dominating the world and a lot of people in this world, um, each of us, we play an important part of role in mother nature undoubtedly so surfacely as we see that um yes we grow in this natural world but with advancement of technology advancement of um, digital media um we'd like to see the next slide um yes you know sometimes as we know that you give and take where there's advancement there will be destruction there will be pollution and causing a lot of things like the worldwide issue as flood, famine, um, all this thing, you know, it comes with a price. I always say that um, 
you know, um, human consequences, as we always say that, you know, karma always come back. It's actually, it's whatever you plant, it, it will come back if it's not being controlled. Uh, whatever it is, even success, even records, even our mother nature, if we um, just let it to be like this, it will become a disaster. I will always tell like even my parents or the older generation, I mean like, you know, you guys are lucky, but for us, we, the future youth or the future um, people who are going to face all this pollution together, we have to take care um, starting from now, today, and each of us will play a very tiny role, but you don't see all this tiny, tiny role. It will form a huge, huge, huge role in this huge kind of like world because like this thing, everything have a part and we are, you know, the earth people in this world that we created things, but we also destroy things. But we can't say that we won't advance. We need to advance, but we need to take precaution. A lot of things as well as a youth, as a lot of things, we can't be too extreme. We have to strike a balance in between growth and also to protect our mother earth. And as well as, as we look into detail now, um, to the next slide, into the digital world. As we can see nowadays, uh, the advancement of technology have broken down into a normal surface world and a digital world. And this digital world is actually quite frightening. I did my research actually like um, starting like in the year of 2010. Back then, everyone was telling me that I'm crazy. I, I was like, uh, why am I so care about digital world? Because, because once you know even deeper into the digital world, you know like how intense and how much, well, it can be a benefit if you understand how to use it, but it also can affect or it can deter a lot of issues online, especially in the youth generation. Um, can we have the next slide? So as we can see that, how many people are using the internet or you know look at the age group look at the statistics all those things are based on real statistic the majority look at that people who are into the online world are all youth you know 18 like or even like young people you know compared to the people who are like 50 years above so if the population of the younger people are into all this thing meaning this is a really really important demographic where important world that we have to focus and we have to know what's happening beyond you know even our parents might not know look at that like people around 50 years or above they won't understand because this world like during their youth this world didn't exist but our world now it exists like now some of you are studying from home and now I can speak from Spain, you know, I don't need to fly back. And you all are in different part of worlds, you know, we can communicate in like this, but this won't happen even 10 years ago or even before MCO, we won't know that there will be such platform or all these things, you know, we don't, we don't take into like consideration. And as you know that so many people are into all those things. When there's people, you know, people always do things, you know, when there's human, I always say that we need a lot of precaution because we humans are smart human beings, but some people are being too smart. They misused it. And can we go to the next slide? And as you can see, um, these are all the negative issues which are all happening online, you know, trolling, hate speech, online harassment, discrimination, a lot of more things like cyberbullying, sextortion, revenge porn, and a lot of all these things are happening where it only surfaces nowadays. But it had been in our society and a lot of youth, a lot of people who are young, they don't even dare to speak up. So at the end of the day, a lot of all these issues are not even being acknowledged by a lot of society or even, you know, even our parents. Because, you know, in the Asian culture as well, they think that these are all the disgrace. But sometimes we need to, we need to acknowledge all this serious cases which are all happening in, around all the world you know even like um, you know in asian culture i know that you know especially in chinese we have this um, kind of culture where egoism or we need the you know like we all say about face or whatever so 
they they always hide all this issue just to protect, you know, um, just to keep us silent and stuff. But sometimes we need to acknowledge it so that we youth or whatever is going to happen, we know how to rectify or even we have we can take precaution before, you know, all these things are happening or even like, you know, to the next slide, as we can see. How many of you all actually, um, you know, on the audience, how many of you all have been through whatever, you know, just now the graph I, I've said, I mentioned, you know, um, I just want to see a vote from the audience. Um, any one of you are being through a serious cases like cyberbullying or being like in very depressed mode or really serious thing online or just a mild thing where, you know, everything like, you know, you don't like something like which or some, some unpleasant thing online or none of you are like have none, no problem online. So I would like to see, um, you know, A, B, C. Any one of you are like been through all those things? I just want to see from, you know, um, C, none. Oh, that's, that's good though. Because Mao, yeah, I guess, you know, and how many of you are like, no, I think none been through serious one, I guess. Yeah, because um, some of them Mao, yeah. I, I guess a lot of us are in a mild situation um, because as C, uh, yeah, C and B, yeah. I think um, the serious one, uh, it haven't really arrived in our culture yet, but later on, I will discuss it more into that environment, which is when we deal with all these serious cases, um, it's kind of depressing, and but but also like it, it is a kind of a mirror for us so that we don't, I don't hope anyone to go through serious cases. Yes, and limiting the use of social media helps, but I'm going to tell you all more about, you know, um, not just limiting, um, because nowadays, like, a lot of precaution we need to take before even you go into serious cases, because in overseas, a lot of suicide cases, a lot of um, really, really um, kind of, like, syndicate or scam happening behind the scene. So I guess, like, in Malaysia now, everyone now, it's kind of like, I guess everyone is taking precaution and all those things. Yes, and cu cancer culture as well. We get that always, you know. Uh, to the next slide. Um, as we can see, um, these are the consequences. Like, uh, we can see a lot of people are being, like, kind of uh, being troll online, cyberbullying, even scam. Even I was just helping my mate getting back, like, you know, accounts and stuff. So many people are asking all these things, like especially in the unprecedented time, everyone is trying to scam each other or everyone is trying to just get a piece of each other. So, you know, we don't want, you know, now is Mao, as we can see. Remember COVID? Like everything they told us was Mao, but now it's getting serious, serious, serious until like, like in Spain as well, I can't really go out and... And, you know, I was supposed to fly back, but I can't fly back. And a lot of things are restricted. So we don't want um, the online world to go into that serious pandemic until that we have to, like, kind of, kind of, you know, delete whatever we have created and stuff. And, uh, again, like social media, uh, it will affect our mental health, especially as you can see the news nowadays, things are posted online. Is it real? Is it hearsay or is it bought? You know, always think, you know, always think, always ask the question. And always, you know, people like to twist. And, you know, even like, um, as you know, uh, this is the real cases. A lot of people, they even buy likes online, buy live view, or they even buy, you know, a lot of things where in order to create the hype or even, or even to create a fake news. You know, or even to get your attention by doing stupid stuff online. So a lot of things, you know, even like, and some people who don't understand the game, they commit suicide or they even got into a lot of mental distress where actually it's not supposed, you know, you know, to go through all this thing. But, you know, these are all the traps, you know. It all started with Mao situation. It all started with just, it's okay, it's okay, but we need to acknowledge that actually this are happening in overseas like a lot of cases are being like reported especially in the youth cases where they take it too serious or even like they fall into the trap of people like sending um, nudity pictures or even like a lot of things where it's it's kind of like worsening in overseas and it, it will one day it will hit like 
Asia culture and stuff. So we have to take note of all the things. So we we know how to avoid. You know, I always say that even I studied law. Um, sometimes the law will only form where there's a new cases. So don't wait until a case happens. Only we wait for the rules and regulation. We have to self protect ourselves. As like some of them say, um, limit the usage and and pay attention. Uh, especially us, like today, I get I. I guess that today among us are all youth. We have to unite together to solve together because sometimes parents might not even understand all this, all this online world or all this mental stress are we serving or we are encountering uh, nowadays. Like um, the next slide, as we can see, um, I guess that I just want to like share with you all like toxic trends online. You know, sometimes it's not just like cyberbullying and all this thing, but is the trend which everyone try to imitate until it become toxic, especially toxic positivity. I always tell people that do not be lied by whatever they published online because or do not publish 100% whatever about your personal life online because, you know, it is a kind of a toxic positivity thing where you encourage people to compare each other and as well as like so many you know the latest toxic social media trend is sad fishing you try to gain sympathy from people to just get likes right so i guess yeah i'm pretty how was i love the topic today because like, i i really wanted to point out because everyone texted me everyone i'm hi eugene everyone saying that you know um we have to pay attention to what's what's trend trending what's trending doesn't mean that you have to do it what's trending doesn't mean that it is trending it might be people trending just because like they are they just they just you know, utilize your visibility into monetizing them on their own platform or it's, it's to sell something to you or, you know. So I always say that, you know, you don't need to imitate even like your own platform. Everyone will have your social media, you know, but, you know, um, you, you, you have a choice of posting what you want. You don't need to follow. You Please don't imitate and please don't follow because a lot of things where I know that, you know, everyone will dare each other to do stupid stuff or, you know, but things are posted online, majority, 80% or 90% is just surface, you know. Things on a picture is only surface. And yes, limit what you share because like sometimes even, do you know that whatever you post online, people can trace you down and you don't want to um, kind of uh, attract um, unnecessary um, attention. As well, and in overseas, like, you know, some places you are not allowed to, you know, uh, to simply post stuff because sometimes it's people's privacy and also it's some, um, you know, it's sometimes even company, you know, that's privacy or, you know, that's a NDA, um, you know, non-disclosure, um, you know, uh, agreement and all those things, you know, all those toxic trends, actually, it is kind of, you know, we don't want to see it, but sometimes we can't, can't ignore, you know, sometimes, yeah, you know, like, yeah, Dale didn't know about sad fishing. Yes, you guys have to be careful, you know. Um, check, always check, you know. Uh, people are trying to be, you know, uh, they, they, are, they are smart. Some of them show off, but some of them are going into the sad fishing thing to just get your sympathy. And then some of them even like try to talk to you, try to pretend that they are in a very bad situation, but actually they are not. Or actually they are not even that person, you know. A lot of them even like, you know, that's how they scam you or that's how they gain your attention. So a lot of things, you know, sometimes I do not post instant thing online or try, try, try to, you know, you know, um, just have, you know, I know that social media, everyone, you know, is good for connectivity, is good for profile, is good for your, you know, your, your work stuff and stuff. So, but always remember that, you know, online, everyone is looking and everyone, it's, it's, it's going to it's going to affect your future you know don't do something where um you know affect your future until it you won't get chance you know in in your work in in you know your promotion in the future or even scholarship you know so a lot of things you know um actually it is happening a lot of things where um we have to be frank you know a lot of things is fake online you know or being paid or 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 you know um it's or something which I think that it might suit the Western culture, but not suit our culture. So always understand the things behind. It doesn't mean that 
oh, it's famous in overseas, you have to do it. No, you know, if you start doing that stuff, um, you know, it doesn't drive with our culture, there will be a culture differences. So always, always, you know, these are all pollution, you know, pollution where it's, it's invincible in the, in, in the g digital world, but these are toxic. This thing, it will create a mental health where it's even more this that it's going to ruin you before the planet ruin you first, you know? So all this thing, it will accumulate. And also it is something where we have to pay attention with all this trend and then try, try to differentiate what's right. And, you know, it's, it's a good platform to share information, but it's not a good thing to spread negative stuff. So um, to go to the next slide. When we are affected by our brain and mentality, always understand and question what are you being fed on, you know? Um, yeah, so a lot of things like uh, if you guys want to ask and stuff, we have a Q&A question later. And so in social media as well, you guys are being fed, you know, um, as we know that social media feed and all those things, question. Uh, even when we do research and stuff, we can't quote, you know, too much on just articles or, you know, uh, we have to ask, you know, uh, we have to read journals, we have to see statistics, we have have to see um, truth and reality and, and factual stuff. So social media, I know the hype is there, but it is, it is, you know, you are being fed into that situation. Uh, and some countries even go extreme where they hire um, a lot of secret agent behind social media agent to feed what you are supposed to see, you know. So actually, whatever you guys are saying, you question, you know, always think, always question and ask the reliability of the news or even YouTube videos and who are the people who are doing the videos behind that. So always trace. I guess you guys are really, really, really smart nowadays. Even like, you know, pollution, whatever. You have to trace where's the source. If you don't trace the source, you can't, you won't know that where's the pollution. So if you want to reduce pollution, you have to find your source. Is it is it reliable? Is it is it really affecting or is it true? You know, so a lot of us, you know, if our our brain are being fed without us questioning, it's just like feeding yourself with junk food. One day you will you will gain weight. You will be obese. You will, you know, um, all these things. Are the one our brain are eating every day. So um, towards the next one, the next uh, page. Um, Yes, so we need a lot of online media literacy. Yes, you know, like how to remove people from your contact list of without feeling sorry, you know? Sometimes, you know, if the person is creating a lot of things where you don't want to see, I, honestly, I just delete and exit the group. Even, you know, if 10 years ago, I will be like, okay, I'll be polite. But nowadays, if it affect my mental health or I felt that that thing doesn't jive with my, my life anymore, I will just delete. You know, sometimes it's not you, you know, it's whoever around you. So again, um, information you shouldn't share online, always ask yourself, ask yourself, do not, you know, I always, you know, I used to always post instant, instant, but nowadays I'll ask myself, should I post this? Should I post that? Especially as you go, guys going higher and higher, because look at the news today, like the American news and all those things, like just like one tweet or, or, or anything, it will engulf a lot of anger or, or create a lot of social issue, as you can say. And also, like, take charge of your privacy setting. Always, always, you know, and also always know that allow who to come into your group or you can also, like, ignore messages and, you know, you don't need to reply every message so that, you know, a lot of people, like, as we say, they're sad fishing or gaining your sympathy and all these things. And always check the information whether it is true. If you can't limit the usage of social media or you can't limit it, because sometimes it's, it's hard to limit, you know, things are around us, you know, things are feeding to us and stuff. We can't just say no and stuff, but know how to, you know, it's just like diet. You must know how to reduce it. You know, it's not just keep accepting, accepting. I know that, you know, us Malaysian or people back home are really good and also like very nice to people. But sometimes it's okay to protect yourself, not to get polluted for so, that, so that not just saving yourself, you save yourself before you save others. So I always tell people that, you know, I know that youth nowadays are very, very fresh and as well as a lot of us wanted to do things for our, our people around and stuff. But 
you know, things we have no idea that what's happening, you know, or what's their motive behind or where's the source, you know. So a lot of all these things where you have no idea, it, it, might, be a, it might be, you know, a lot of syndicate or scam behind to trap you in. So a lot of things, you know, um, we, have, we have to learn a lot of online media literacy and also that before even, you know, we want to go to the serious matter, it's okay to ignore all these things and, you know, or even escape from the group or, you know, unfollow or, you know, unlike, you know. So a lot of other things where it kind of, we have to take action bit by bit. It's just like our, our environment as well. We can't just say that, you know, I'm, okay, we, 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 we take a harsh, you know, approach. We have to take intermediate slowly, step by step, step by step into, you know, cleaning up and all those things we have to take in phases so we have to know that you know um if it's affecting you and stuff then you must know how to remove and also limit as well as it's okay you know like they were i mean although they will say that okay why are you deleting me and all this thing is okay to not give any excuses or you know reason as well because if it's affecting you it's okay you know sometimes just delete it especially people are like you know too negative or stuff um yeah i did that a lot it's just like social media cleaning and also, um, you know, it's okay, like, you know, have lesser followers, but you have genuine ones, you know, have lesser, you know, um, kind of like hurdles and all these things, but you get genuine and the appropriate group. So like all this online media literature and don't compare, never, ever compare. You have no idea. It doesn't mean that the numbers of the fans online, it represent the popularity and all this thing no more. It, 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 it's, it's way sort of different different criterias even in overseas as well like they are banning a lot of online all these things they look at your cv they look at beyond you know it's not just you have thousand fans online or hundred thousand fans online you can get whatever you want and all this thing no everyone can get popular everyone can get all these things you know but um still still you have to protect yourself and you know yes make your circle small and unique and also condensed if not you're getting wrong audience you are getting and the audience will drive you into as we mentioned what you plant you you will get back what you plant so if you plant you want the audience level to be big without any control you will be controlled back by the audience so always like um, ask yourself you know it's not just like you know i always say that even like business and all this thing it doesn't mean that a business a huge business will work always. Always have a core team first and do not let the, the thing to control you back. Because like even in the environment, if things are being just let go like this, environment will control us, you know. It will be controlling us and as well as it will kill it, kill us in the future, you know. Um okay for uh, and the next slide. So again, as well as manage your expectation. I always say that online and everything is just 1% or 5%, whatever you all see, you know. Um, do not compare. You have no idea. The person might be laughing, might be smiling in front, but behind, they might be quarreling or, you know, people who don't even post about themselves. It doesn't mean that they are they are not happy or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's to manage your expectation as well. It, it doesn't mean that, you know, um, whatever you see online, it's, it's whatever you get in the reality. So um, always manage, you know, your expectations and also like um, do not compare. The more you compare, you're going to fall into the trap. You're going to fall into the social media trap and you're going to be very toxic and you're going to be never ending trap, you know. So always all this thing, you know, like people I know that they like to, you know, show off and all those things and, you know, like, and people will feel sad. Why I don't get all this thing? No, no, don't, you know. I know that people would like to share the happiness and all this thing. This, this are okay, you know, like, you know, but sometimes we must know our limits. Sometimes as well, like, um, again, that we must understand our audience. Um, always think about, you know, I always say that you, when you think about others, others will think back for you, you know. Social media is not just us, 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 you know. When we started that time, yes, you know, when we were young, we would think that, yes, it's us. But nowadays, as you can see, we, 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 we are... We are looking at the biggest perspective where, you know, social media, everyone can view on you, like even your teachers, your mother, your future employer or, or your future employee, everyone, you know, you don't want all these things to 
kill your chances or even you know even to have a kind of like a scar in your resume i always say that social media nowadays is like um i mean you can't avoid you know and again like um yeah i can see that a lot of people like trying to do like having a small uh, circle and um joey was saying like for the past i may try to do the things that other people will like Yes, but not yes. Trust me, I, I tried that as well. If you try to do whatever you're not, honestly, I did a statistic and a study as well. I I interviewed like people who have like millions of fans online. Like I asked them actually, what's your recipe towards your success? Actually, just be authentic. You know, just share whatever who you are. But of course, you have to cross check. You know, not everything. You know, so sometimes authenticity. You know, um, I always say that. You know, um. Uh, I used to be like my managers told me that oh you shouldn't post all this thing but you know what um, I'm a person who you know I like education and you know I like youth and all this thing so I can't hide that's why a lot of things like you know uh, the things I post and stuff it it represent you know what I stand for as well as um, as well as I learned in these few years and especially when I'm 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 in overseas myself and all these things. Um, it is. It is kind of a, a hard. It's a, it's a kind of a challenging world now. But I bet that nowadays everyone can manage your own things. And and when you 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 start to understand about yourself, it's just like writing song. Like seeing a cover song and writing your own original is very different. You know. So it's 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 like as we understand, it's easier to get more you know views for cover songs, but. You know, it's hard to get views for original song, but original song is always you, you know. Cover song is always others, and you are just singing other song, other people's song to monetize for them. So always think that, I know that originality, it will start from, you know, people won't like it in front, but it's still you. So, and if you are doing yourself, the best version of yourself, you will do more. You will do more because nowadays is how deep and how far or how frequent can you go. It's not how fast. It's not how how kind of you know spontaneous or or suddenly there's no such thing you know um towards the next slide and as well as like um if you you know we have to save our planet so that you know um to save our future it's not just from the surface but internal on the digital side on the internal level and as well as a lot of community around us because every one of us are all in the digital world nowadays and every one of us are, are, are kind of like um everything you know especially like nowadays like rmco and stuff we can't go out and so a lot of things we have to spend we have to admit that 80 or 90 percent sometimes our time is spent on online you know and yeah original is our own experience yeah and um it is what i you represent you know so towards the next slide again as well um youth is the trustee of our prosperity i always say that you know um sometimes it's hard to change the old people but it is a possible to change the youth and you guys are the trustee of our prosperity of our future you know um power of youth is is tremendously um kind of it's amazing you know this like in this current world and all those things you know um you guys will determine what will be planned in the future because this is your right this is our our time although it's very challenging but um i guess that you know um there's no coincidence or that's there's no such thing as like kind of like um there's no solution so if we are being born in this um challenging time we need to you know even stronger youth even you know to face this this challenges and and trust me you guys will be way stronger you know so and towards the next slide as we can see as well uh towards um the prosperity of our future and also the light of our future uh, can we have the next slide yes so stronger minds stronger youth so um we'd like to see like more healthier you know if you want to save the world, we have to start from our mind, our heart, and ourselves before we even can do a bigger thing out there. You know, especially nowadays, and when you know, I always say that the word environment, it include you know, environment is you know, place where you spend the most time, or you know, um, it's not just our mother earth, and you know, we have to take into precaution about the digital world. So, um, 
to feed a strong mind, you must know how to detox from what are you reading or what are you seeing online. And um, as well as, you know, like you have to form a stronger youth at, by acknowledging the problem, but not ignoring it. So by acknowledging it, we can solve it together. And um, as well as we, we, we know that, you know, yeah, we need to be fit also with stronger positive positivity thing to be stronger um dalia was saying yes it, it must be and also that we we have to acknowledge yes um you know certain culture is good but certain culture where if it's if it's too surface and it it kind of did de um deteriorate your minds and you know people are just covering it by not acknowledging it then that's our job to take it out and you know uh, to even discuss among the youth what's happening because sometimes um you know, peer to peer, it will help more. Uh, sometimes, like uh, because things are changing. You know, every every age, like every year gap is changing. So whatever issues is are uh, are experiencing by the youth nowadays, it's it's different from one year ago, two years ago, and now this is changing really fast, just like you know, instantly. You know, so we need a stronger youth, stronger minds to face a kind of a. A kind of a challenging time i would say so we have to you know i always say that if we are strong enough we can ride on the wave if we are not strong enough the wave will ride you know will ride on us or we will be washed away so yeah um joey is saying one people's energy seems very small but when we all do it together we will, will be a big energy yes that's why we always have all these platforms so that we reunite together i know that like some like a lot of us even like a few days ago and stuff i was like kind of depressed as well even in overseas and stuff because we are doing our own research and as well as i'm alone here um as well as i saw a lot of news online and overseas and all those things but we have to acknowledge all the things are happening and uh, so that we can plan for our future and as well as um we together and all this platform we are not here just like you know like like to show off but we are trying to discuss the problem and we're going to try to to take the fresh you know issues you know i always like to discuss new issues uh new like um you know the things where it, it's really, really um, kind of important for us, you know, for our future, especially for the younger generation. Because, you know, um, younger generation, we still have really far way to go. And um, honestly, I guess that a lot of people are uncertain, uncertain at all. But uh, sometimes when we talk it out and uh, it's OK to talk about failure, it's OK to talk about all this thing. I, I guess that people would like to listen about failures, about uh, things you've been through then a perfect story then uh, to show off like you know result nobody like you know even when we go we, we, we go and solve a case and stuff we would like to listen to people who've been through we would like to listen to people who who dare to fight you know it's not just listen to you know like just a bio data you know things uh, when you go through and you fight through a real thing um that's more rewarding that's what that will train us more you know, it's not just the marks. It's not just the award. You know, what have you done? You know, uh, for a stronger mind, I would say that it's not just um, on the surface. You know, people, you know, I've been through, like, I met students and, and people who, who just will do anything just for good marks or, or just for surface thing. But that won't work because in the reality world, that won't work. And people are smart nowadays. People will know that you're hiding something or you are too perfect where you try to hide a lot of things which is like kind of it will again affect your mental health or even you will affect a lot of things in the future okay so towards the next slide um yes and the hardest thing is you know what to take less when you can get more i always say that um in this generation we we we, we can't expect the same value anymore and we must know that we might be doing more and getting less you know so um especially um you know you know in the youth or whatever like in it might be as well like because like as mentioned that things are changing or even the pollution is happening or global warming we have to do even more you know to see a tiny effect or try to do more and take lesser you know so that's why that that you know when 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 you can do that you will achieve something where even more powerful and more things will come back to you. Um, I know it's hard, you know, but, you know, I always say that, you know, when you're stuck and stuff, try to give something, you know, so that um, something bigger will come back, you know, 
something bigger. You know, I, I know that, you know, um, of course, we need, we need to, to know our ability as well, but take your time and as well as, um, uh, again, that do not, you know, like nowadays, I know that the tip of, you know, even whatever, you know, the balance, it's being ticked, you know, it's being unbalanced already. So it's just like now I'm doing my second PhD and all the things, you know, um, when people tell you it's enough, trust me, it's not enough, you know. If you want to do more, you have to challenge more. You know, I always say that um, if you want to break a record or even, you know, I'm not just saying breaking the record, you know, if you want to do something to see the result, you know, a lot of us, we need to um, do even more, you know, only we can see 10% of it. So because, you know, in the, re in the real world, things will get, you know, um, uh, in, the, in the real world, when you put in 200%, it might just come up 50%, but at least we give more. Then there won't be, you know, any regrets in life, uh, you know, in terms of environment, in terms of our mental health, in terms of our success, you know, or in terms of your own future, you know. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, why am I still staying here and stuff? I was like, you know what, if I can get it, I get it, you know. Uh, if I can get the best of all worlds, I won't let go, you know. Or even people say that, oh, why not just base in, in overseas, you know, go back, no. You know, I always say that, you know, protect whatever you have, you know. Uh, it's, it's like nowadays, if, you know, whatever you have, you don't, you don't have to let go, you know, and get the best of all world. And also do more, it will come back to you. So um, towards the next slide. And as well as, you know, uh, the last for all, we must unite as one. You know, um, regardless of races, regardless of age, regardless of anything, you know, especially youth, you know, you guys, we all have to have, have to um, uh, unite as one, you know. Uh, Saifullah was asking, during Miss World, how you handle hate speech? Trust me, during my Miss World time, I think it was, was okay. I guess um, my hate, a lot of hate speech will come when you're in the industry especially when you're trying to do something extraordinary or, you know, especially you try, you try a lot of things. But again, that um, the hate speech sometimes will come, you know, even, even from people around you. So um, I would say that, you know, um, I always treat them as like, you know, kids, you know, sometimes. Uh, and also sometimes like I used to be angry, wanted to fight back, but trust me, don't waste your energy, you know. Uh, we do whatever it is and the result will prove it. And again, that um, nowadays, I know that you guys or the youth, um, you know, in our times, like when I was young, I don't even need to face all this hate speech and all this thing. But you all, whatever you do now, people are watching, you know. Even you're not a celebrity, everyone is watching, you know. So it's good that, you know, things are being acknowledged and things you can share it out. But another thing is, it's kind of like, like, like it kind of will affect that, you know, what how people think about you and stuff. But trust me, write it down in, on your journal. Sometimes when I felt lost, I will write it down and ask myself, is 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 this the direction I'm going through? But of course, you must learn how to protect yourself as well. So um, yeah, result will show our works. Uh, and yeah, exactly like what Joey said that the, um, the world is it's it's whatever you plant, it will come back to you. You know. Um, even people trying to throw you down and all those things. But if, if, I mean, like all those things as well, you have to take into consideration of this will be your challenge. You know, if you want to go on stage, if you want to go high, far enough, but um, try, try to balance as well. You know, sometimes it's good, you know, to, 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 to listen to critics and to analyze, um, am I bad or is this the wrong direction? But if you can see if it, it, it's it's if it's working, and if like it is in a in a good way, please go ahead. You know, and sometimes I always say that you know, even this hate speech and stuff, uh, a lot of people will put hate speech because they can't do it, and you can do it. That's why some of them you know uh, try to throw you down. But you know, it's it's always like that. Even whatever you do or in life, um. Uh, in my journey since young, you know, since young until now. So um, only us ourselves would know our best of our roots, you know. Again, I always say that if if you don't do what you like, of course, don't do what, you must do what you like and what's good, you know. 
because if if you're if you're doing not what you like as well, people will throw you down as well. You so why why not do something you like? Why not do something you fight for? You know, but you know if you fight for something where you know you, you just follow people say people is going to throw you down as well. People is going to have hate speech for you as well. So I always say that um, people will always say things, but of course we respect for every. Um, every advices, every speech and stuff, but as long as you know what you're doing and as long as you go step by step, it's safe, you know? Do not, do not take shortcut. Um, do not, do not, um, you know, ignore the problem as well, but um, be considerate, but also don't be, you know, I always say that don't be over um, influenced by all these people around you because only you yourself, me, myself, each of us are different even we are here or even we are studying the same thing, but because we come from different places, we have different dreams, we have different destiny, and we have different uh, path to go. So each of us will craft a very different path. Even even I give you the same ingredient, each of us will cook a different, different taste. So yeah, so Joey was saying, rather save energy to do something which will improve us instead of fighting the hate speech indeed, indeed. Because as, as we mentioned, this is, Part of their their trap to trap you online, so um, I, I'm I'm really happy that to to be able to speak on on the environment uh, issues. I hope that um, uh, you all like you know uh, will be enjoying my 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 talk today and stuff. So um, I'll pass back to to to, to the MC. Well, thank you so much, Doctor, for the sharing. We definitely learned a lot today. And I believe I also love the point of how you also stress out not only the environment, but also the pollution in digital world, such as, as you mentioned earlier, hate speech, online harassment, trolling. And I also believe that one way to curb this problem is by having a strong mental and emotion. So the keyword here is be authentic, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. so be authentic. Be authentic. Stronger mind, stronger youth. So... Next, we will be taking a few questions from the audiences. Okay. The first one is from Anwar Idaha. Doctor, as a okay. social media influencer, mm -hmm. how do you adapt with the current challenges? How do you exercise your privacy? I always say 5%. I always share 5% of, of um, whatever it is. I keep 95% of my own privacy. And I, you know, sometimes I give a bit discount. Uh, ten percent, like maybe a, a bit five to ten percent, whatever I can share. Um, and as a media social influencer, I'm. Yes, yeah, sometimes you know we face like you know people ask why the numbers is not going up or you know, or or or, or why people are having millions of followers. As mentioned, know your audience. You know, I can have audience where you know I can simply post things. You know, I even can post you know, like nude picture or whatever to just to get fans, you know, but that's not my brand direction. I will have a brand direction. I, I, I even, you know, um, even in the 2000, 2021, I have my own proposal for myself. What's my KPI for social media? Because sometimes I would want, you know, um, if you can see online, always my study news will go viral. Um, always, you know, my, my, my all these academic things will go viral. So all this virality I've been planting since years, you know. So when I say that, um, when I started as a social influencer 10 years ago, uh, I know that I can do stupid things to get a lot of traction. But, but I, I, I only say that, you know, I would like to have good things to go viral, not bad things. So that's, you know, if you have a brand direction, then as mentioned that you won't be controlled by the numbers. Because if, if you post something, let's say, nude picture, okay, I uh, like to get a lot of views. So how many nude pictures can you post until, you know, you will be controlled by the audience, you know? So you have to control the audience back like um, that's you, not the trend controlling you. So again, that the current challenges is honestly, don't compare. And again, that if, it's, if you stuck or whatever, it's okay to study the statistic and all this thing, but know your audience it's growing it's growing like in 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 a good pace it's good enough yeah well that's the i think that's one of the benefit of having online media literacy by choosing your followers right 
So yeah. the next question is from Dalia Muhammad. Doctor, in your opinion, do you think social media give more positive influence or negative influence? I would say it used to give a lot of positive influence, but nowadays it's filled with negative influence because you must know that it's, it becomes so competitive and there's no direction at, at all. And people will just compete just blindly or even buy fake followers, you know, or fake views online or, or just, you know, to follow the trend. So a lot of all these things were, that's why that I would say that nowadays, I think 80% are quite negative. And again, that you have no idea what's right and wrong. So that's, that's when it becomes so polluted. It used to be, that's no such issue, you know, like, but current years is because everyone is working from home. Everyone, you know, nowadays is not on the road or whatever, like everyone has to stay at home. So that become more of a medium. So when that, be, like, that's, if there's too many people in that, people are trying to gain your traction, they will do a lot of stupid stuff just to get your visibility. So try, try, like as we know that cleanse it, you know, and again, that you have no idea that, to, like some of them as well, that whatever they share is, is kind of to show off or, you know, try to sell you something. So always know that, you know, um, have a balance. I would say to have a balance and definitely know how to identify is this real and is this positive and follow the, the page and stuff where it suits or resonate your own mental health. Yeah. All right. So for the next question, doctor, is from mm. Anis Adeline. So what do you think, what do you personally do to avoid being consumed by the idea or trend social media is trying to fit us since social media is your niche, doctor? Uh, what, I, what I will do, it's like, um, I will always, I always say that, you know, um, I always do like a lot of studies and a lot of research and stuff. If we can see that, you know, social media users or, you know, the top 10 influencer, let's say they have 1 million or, or let's say 8 million, you know, you know, you know that, you know, that's, there will be a ceiling, you know, for social media user or the maximum on, let's say, Instagram or, or, or Facebook. So always understand that one day you can reach that 100 or the top one. So take your time. And again, that um, always ask yourself, like, um, you know, do not strike up and become uh, Insta-famous. So, because I always, I always understand that, you know, if you have too many fans online where you can't even serve your fans, your fans will leak away as well. You know, it's just like business. If it's too big until you can't serve, then you will leak money, you know. So even we do project, we have to, you know, know that our, what's, what's our direction as well. And as well as what's your unique selling point. So I always tell myself that, you know, social media is trying to feed us and all those things. That's why I'm trying to feed even more genuine things. But it will take me some time because mine, I'm sharing real stories, real journey. But it must be, it will take some years, you know. So that's why that I told everyone that, you know, you know, I, I, I always take my time. You know, I don't, I don't overexpose myself as well because you know that sometimes you have to keep something or, you know, and especially with, with us now in, in overseas and stuff, you have no idea like how strict the rules, you know, even when, when I go for international shooting and stuff, a lot of phones are prohibited, you know? So a lot of things like, you know, consume on, on social media and trying to feed us and all those things, we must like, sometimes I even block some account, just, you know, not to see and all these things so that it won't affect me. But again, that it's okay to acknowledge and all those things, but uh, stay alert, but, Again, do, do your own detox. Yeah. Next question is from El Zamuri. Hi, Doctor. As a social media influencer, how do you avoid the toxicity of social media while keeping up with the current trend to stay relevant? Oh, trust me, man. I, 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 tr I, always, I always analyze all this toxic, to uh, the toxic. And um, I, try, I, try, I try to kind of counter fight it with a lot of quotes and a lot of, um, a lot of real posting. But again, that um, we can't, like as mentioned, like uh, me alone is not enough. So I guess everyone should play their part of, you know, yeah, you know, share things where um, <clears throat> it's more meaningful and try to protect your family and stuff. I, I don't really like to share my personal life online. I only share my own, my own journey, you know, but I, I sometimes because you, you have no idea whether your family want to be inside or people around you, you always, you know, always seek permission and 
always be considerate, always stand in their position, you know. Now, not everyone wants to be famous, you know. So always understand that, you know, I know that everyone wants the trend and stuff, but you have no idea, you know, they're selling your data online, you know, and the trend created, they might pay people to do it, you know, so don't fall into that trap. You can try and test, but if you feel that that trend doesn't suit you, ignore it, you know, uh, you have a choice, you know, and youth nowadays, you have to choose yourself. Yeah. Yeah, so we, I think we need to limit what we are sharing. We, we yeah. just share what we want to share, not what people want us to share, right, Doctor? Yeah, don't, so, don't be forced by your audience as well. Mm, you know? yeah, it's, it's just like your audience asks you to take note picture, you're going to take that, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next question is from Muhammad Naim. Can we say dependency on social media a dangerous thing nowadays? Yes, it is. It is quite addictive, you know, um, but you can't avoid that as well as like, you know, um, a lot of people are trying to say that, okay, I don't want to use social media and all these things, but you must know that it is, it is, it is also a form of connectivity for people and as well as it is a platform to, 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 to show and, and, and as well as to showcase your work online and stuff. So I know that dependency, actually, honestly, over dependency on anything is not good. You know, it's moderation. Even eat overconsumption of fruits is not good. You know, it become like toxic, you know. So I would say that in moderation, but again, again, I would say that, you know, um, sometimes like, like, you know, whenever I'm working and stuff, I would have, you know, um, a, different, a different mode of dependency. You know, if during my, my exam times and other things, I would just switch off or, or detox. But sometimes I need it for work and stuff. We still have to depend on that. But always know time off and also always know when you know to be active you know you can select your time it's just like exam you don't need to study every day you must know when's the period of your examination i mean i can't study every day you know even i have so many certain and stuff i, I i'm not a robot i wish i'm a robot <laughs> so i can get even more stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah so i believe this is our last question for today mm -hmm. from muhammad nazri how we are going to identify that a person is using set phishing or he or she is genuinely express their okay. feelings in social media? Okay, I, I can see it. Okay, um, honestly, if you can see that they are trying to, um, especially a lot of people will try and DM or, you know, try to post a lot of things where it's always about there's no solution, you know? It's always about sympathy, sympathy, but there's, n there's no message behind the post is set phishing, you know? Uh, people who, 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 who post sad things, but there is a solution behind and there is an outcome, you know, even like sometimes when I post my failure stories, I will post it when I settle my stuff. I won't post it when I'm sad, you know, you know, sad fishing and all those things is like um, things where people want it, want you to, to, to get into it. It's just like, it's just like, you know, people will try, you know, to, to go in your DM and stuff. Are you okay? And all those things. They are trying to get your attention so that they become close to you so that you can fall into their trap, you know? A lot of all these things, it doesn't happen on the post itself. It happened in the DM. A lot of young girls told me that, wow, you know, and some of them, you will be shocked, you know, people who disguise as young guys but behind their old men, you know? Or they are people who, who try to, to, to capture all those children, you know? So a lot of all these things where, you know, even charity and everything track the sources behind you know that um, nowadays, like sometimes I even call, like, you know, I'm, I'm very skeptical, especially like some of them, charity and all this thing. Ask, like, is it true? And it, it's okay that you don't want to help because or assign he or she to an organization, you know. Sad fishing is a lot of things where they scan you into it because they use the sympathy and then you are trapped, you know. You know, if, if, in, if, in, if it's just sympathy on screen and stuff, it's, it's okay, you know. But sometimes you can see that the post, it doesn't lead to anything, but it's just sadness or, or lead you to kind of into a negativity. If they want you to fall into their trap. So always know that, you know, things like, it's just like when we write an essay, that's just, you know, opening, there's no ending. There's something wrong, <laughs> you know. So... You know, people can share their journeys and can share their happiness and the stuff. But you know that, you know, people set fishing and all those things are, are, are people who complain or people try to get you into their scenario so that you become like them, you know, so that you, you know, some of them will say that, you know, try to 
try to mold you into them. That's that's a lot of scam or a lot of very negative people are trying to do all this thing to to lure you inside. So sometimes um, I always say that um, step, you know, have a distance away. Do not be too emotionally attached. It's just like watching a movie, you know. They might deliver the message, but don't get over attached. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. for the explanation. So, Dr. before we end, could you share the last word or your hope maybe for the environment and the youth? Um, my last, um, I would like, I would like to say that, um, like, in, I saw like one of the quotes you guys shared, um, dare to risk. If you don't dare to risk, there won't be a chance for you. But risk with calculated risk, okay? Nowadays, you have no, you have no idea how deep the world is nowadays, you know? And um, always, always, always as youth, always have a youth mind, no matter what, how old you are. Uh, because like one day, everyone will get old. But it's because of the youth thinking, it keeps us, you know, keep on striving for more. And it keep on like, you know, we can unite together. And again, that, you know, when we are young, only we can, you know, shape something of the future. So it is something very important where, you know, don't just see the current trend. Whatever the current trend is being planted five years ago, we have to plan our own trend. Like whatever you plan now, it will be seen in the near future, you know. Wait for your time. Wait for your, your chance. So um, all the best for the youth and uh, do not compare, you know. Just be the, better, the best version. I would say the best version of yourself. And um, do not be afraid. You know, um, we fall together, but we stand up together. Um, be a youth where you would know how to stand up yourself, but also that you can assist and um, you can lead people towards a better future. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. Be the best you. vision of yourself. Yes. So, I think we have come to the end of our session today. So we would love to apologize for any inconvenience caused during the course of this event. So on that note, I bid goodbye. May this environmental talk spark your spirit to continue striving the best, not only to rescue the earth, but for our well-being as well. And may you spend the rest of your day in high spirit, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank, Thank you so you much, so Dr. Much. Suvinci. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Environment. 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 The environment. <clears throat> Something related to like nature's, maybe like rivers, mountain, beaches, fish. Okay. It's our habitat. Wait, uh, I'll ask my mom. What? As far as I, I can say, environment is everything that surrounds me, 
that related to the nature tiger elephant tree hey ring no hey according to environmental protection act epa 1997 ice iceberg polar bear environment means the interaction and the interrelationship among the components of natural cultural and social system it gets worse and worse You. 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 You.